Welcome to Rochester Midland Corporation's Green Housekeeping Training Video that will provide you with procedures for maintaining a clean and sanitary environment. Part 1. Cleaning Products and Dispensing Equipment This is where it all begins. Maintaining an orderly workspace is essential to do your job effectively and critical to your safety. Using the right cleaning products with the right procedures is necessary to keep your facility clean, healthy, and safe. Let's talk safety. Material Safety Data Sheets, or the MSDS, contain handling, usage, and storage information for products. Read all product labels and MSDS for handling, first aid, and usage instructions. Application charts also show proper usage of products. Always wear personal protective equipment, or PPE, when handling cleaning products. Refer to the MSDS, or product label, for information about PPE. Now let's properly prepare your cleaning cart. Ensure you have safety glasses, gloves, and other necessary PPE available. Your cart should be stocked with an adequate supply of disposables, microfiber cloths, paper products, trash liners, hand soaps, as well as wet floor signs and tools required to perform your job. Always wear appropriate PPE when preparing your cleaning products. Fill color-coded spray bottles with matching concentrated solution. All secondary containers must have appropriate labeling to identify the product. Lock the snap concentrate bottle into the snap dispensing unit. Turn on the water. Insert your spray bottle to the top of the short hose. Press the green paddle with the picture of the spray bottle to dispense solution. Release the green paddle when the bottle is full. Use the green release lever to remove the snap concentrate bottle from the dispensing unit. Always turn off the water supply when you're finished filling bottles, mop buckets, or auto scrubbers. Always return your snap concentrate bottle to the storage rack with a cap securely fastened. Fill all bottles necessary for your daily cleaning tasks. Use the long hose and mop bucket paddle on the snap dispenser to fill mop buckets or auto scrubbers. Now that your cart is fully loaded, you are ready to start your shift. Part 2. Office Cleaning for office cleaning, you have two options for products. Option 1 includes EnviroCare Neutral Disinfectant as your disinfectant, EnviroCare Tough Job for degreasing, EnviroCare Glass Cleaner for glass and mirrors, and EnviroCare Low Foam All-Purpose Cleaner to clean floors. As a second option, use EnviroCare Neutral Disinfectant as your disinfectant, EnviroCare Tough Job for degreasing, and Proxy Multi-Surface Cleaner for glass cleaning and floor cleaning. Offices should be cleaned daily. When approaching an office, always knock on the door before entering. If the office is occupied, ask if you may clean. If not, return when the office is unoccupied. Your first step is emptying all garbage cans and recycle bins and replacing the trash liners. Next, you should high dust. We are beginning a top-down cleaning process. Use a duster with an extension pole. High dusting should be done on the top of furniture, vents, above lights, air returns, and window sills. Next, use your microfiber cloth to dry dust desktops, tables, and other furniture in the office. Then spray the degreaser into a dedicated microfiber cloth and wipe the surfaces to remove dirt, fingerprints, and other soils. No rinsing is required. You can't disinfect a dirty surface. We clean first where necessary, then disinfect. Use your designated bucket and dedicated microfiber cloth to disinfect hard surfaces and touch points, such as tabletops, light switches, and door handles. Interior window cleaning should be performed in offices. Spray the glass cleaner into a dedicated microfiber cloth. Using a two-step stool, begin cleaning from the top down in a side-to-side -side motion. Use a squeegee from the top to bottom to remove any residue. Final steps are dry dusting and wet mopping the floors. Use your dry mop with an extension handle and work from the far corner of the office towards the door using a figure eight motion. To prepare for wet mopping, place a wet floor sign outside of the door. Switch your dry mop head with a wet microfiber mop head. Soak the wet mop head with your floor cleaner. Work from the far corner of the room towards the exit. After cleaning offices, rinse the mop bucket and clean equipment. Part 3. Restroom Cleaning For restroom cleaning, you have two options for products. Option 1 includes EnviroCare Neutral Disinfectant as your disinfectant, EnviroCare Glass Cleaner for glass and mirrors, 
and EnviroCare washroom cleaner for hard surfaces and floors. As a second option, use EnviroCare neutral disinfectant, azure disinfectant, and proxy multi-surface cleaner for glass and mirrors, hard surfaces, and floors. Restrooms and locker rooms are often one of the highest traffic areas within a building. They could be a breeding ground for germs and odors if they are not cleaned and maintained properly. The following procedure should be used to clean a restroom. First, enter the restroom and announce housekeeping. If empty, place your caution at the entrance and set up the safety barrier. To clean glass or mirrors, spray a microfiber cloth with glass cleaner. Wipe the mirror from top down, moving left to right. Use a squeegee from top to bottom to capture remaining residue. Next are sinks, fixtures, and countertops. Spray the inside of the sink with hard surface cleaner and wipe with a dedicated microfiber cloth. Wipe the top and underside of sink, fixtures, and countertop with a dedicated microfiber cloth damp with disinfectant. After cleaning the outside of garbage receptacles, spray disinfectant into a dedicated microfiber cloth and wipe the outer surface. To clean and disinfect urinals, spray the inside of the urinal with a hard surface cleaner. Allow it to remain wet while wiping the outside of the urinal, including the handle, with disinfectant. Use a bowl swab to clean inside the urinal and flush. To clean and disinfect toilets, first flush the toilet. Use a plunger or bowl swab to push the water down to empty the bowl. Spray your hard surface cleaner into the toilet bowl. Wipe the outside of the toilet bowl, toilet seat, and handle with disinfectant. Clean the inside of the toilet bowl with bowl swab and flush to rinse. Begin floor cleaning by dust mopping. Apply a dry microfiber mop head to the dust mop handle. Start working from the far corner of the restroom along the outer edges, then sweep center with a side-to-side -side motion. Put debris in the garbage. Next, wet mop floors. Replace the dry microfiber mop head with a wet microfiber mop head, damp with floor cleaner. From the far corner of the room, mop along the outer edges. Then mop the center of the room in a side-to-side -side motion. Allow the floor to air dry. On an interim basis, use disinfectant for wet mopping restrooms instead of floor cleaner. Typically, this is done once per week, but may vary based on your organization's operating procedures. After the restroom is cleaned and the floors have dried, remove the wet floor sign and safety barrier and clean your equipment. Part four, cleaning and disinfecting touch points and common areas. For cleaning and disinfecting touch points and common areas, you have two options for products. Option one includes EnviroCare Neutral Disinfectant as your disinfectant, EnviroCare Tough Job for degreasing, EnviroCare Glass Cleaner for glass and mirrors, and EnviroCare Low Foam All-Purpose Cleaner to clean hard surfaces and floors. As a second option, use EnviroCare Neutral Disinfectant as your disinfectant, EnviroCare Tough Job for degreasing, and proxy multi-surface cleaner for glass and mirrors, hard surfaces, and floors. Effective cleaning and disinfecting are critical aspects of an infection control program. You have a direct impact on how clean and healthy your facility is. Cleaning and disinfecting common touch points is important. When using microfiber cloths to disinfect, fold and use a fresh section for each touch point. Always allow disinfectant surfaces to air dry. Here are some common touch points. For payphones, spray disinfectant into a dedicated microfiber cloth and wipe the outside of the phone, keys, and handle. For water fountains, spray disinfectant directly into a microfiber cloth and wipe all inside and outside surfaces. Do not wipe the water spout of the fountain. For door frames, handles, and railings, wipe surfaces with a microfiber cloth damp with disinfectant. Remember to use a clean microfiber cloth for each area. After cleaning tabletops and the outside of garbage cans and recycle bins, wipe with a microfiber cloth damp with disinfectant. For your elevators, spray hard surface cleaner into a clean microfiber cloth and wipe doors in the direction of the stainless steel grain. To disinfect elevator buttons, spray disinfectant into a dedicated microfiber cloth and wipe the buttons and panel on the inside and outside of the elevator. For benches or sitting areas, wipe down seating and touch point areas with a microfiber cloth damp with disinfectant. For walls that need to be spot cleaned, spray degreaser into a microfiber cloth and wipe marks or smudges. On painted surfaces, test a small area first to ensure there is no discoloration. 
no rinsing is required. To clean windows, spray glass cleaner directly into a microfiber cloth. Wipe glass from top down in a side to side motion. Use your squeegee from side to side to remove any residue. To clean floors and hallways, remove all items from the floor. Then dust mop edges to prepare for wet mopping and auto scrubbing. Set up wet floor signs at entranceways. Fill the mop bucket with a solution of floor cleaner from the dispensing system. Wet mop the edges of the hallway prior to auto scrubbing. Fill the auto scrubber with a solution of floor cleaner from your dispensing system. Use the auto scrubber for cleaning hallways and large corridors. Occasionally, entranceways have a buildup of salt residue. Mopping those areas with a neutralizer is recommended. When finished cleaning, rinse the mop bucket and clean equipment. Part 5. Classrooms When cleaning classrooms, you have two options for products. Option 1 includes EnviroCare Neutral Disinfectant as your disinfectant, EnviroCare Tough Job for degreasing, and EnviroCare Low Foam All-Purpose Cleaner to clean hard surfaces and floors. As a second option, use EnviroCare Neutral Disinfectant as your disinfectant, EnviroCare Tough Job for degreasing, and Proxy Multi-Surface Cleaner for hard surfaces and floors. We begin a top-down cleaning process with high dusting done on all vents, above lights, air returns, the top of furniture, and window sills using a duster. After dry dusting hard surfaces, clean desktops and tabletops with your hard surface cleaner and microfiber cloth. Spray the cleaner into the microfiber cloth and wipe surfaces to remove dirt, fingerprints, and other soils. Use your designated bucket and a dedicated microfiber cloth to disinfect hard surfaces and touch points such as desktops, tabletops, light switches, and door handles. To clean whiteboards or walls in classrooms, spray degreaser into a microfiber cloth and wipe away any marks. On painted surfaces, test a small area first to ensure there is no discoloration. After cleaning the outside of garbage cans, wipe with a microfiber cloth, damp with disinfectant. The final steps are dry dusting and wet mopping floors. Use your dry microfiber mop head with extension handle. Work from the far corner of the classroom towards the door using a figure eight motion. Before wet mopping, put out a wet floor sign. Prepare fresh floor cleaner from dispensing system into the mop bucket. Wet mop from the far corner of the room towards the exit. After cleaning the classroom, rinse the mop bucket and clean equipment. Remember, everyone appreciates a clean and healthy environment, and by following these procedures, you can ensure that their experience will be favorable.